Hello friends, Azure Nova here, and I know everyone's waiting for my next Tower of Fantasy closed beta video, but since my schedule has been hectic this week, I haven't actually been able to play much of anything. <laughs> um, but I was perusing Twitter, specifically Tower of Fantasy, to see if there you know, any updates or this or that when the closed beta is going to end, and I came upon this. So we have A Letter to Wanderers Volume 2. So I've already read some of it, and I'm like, you know what? I think other people might, might want to know about this too. So I decided to make a video on it. There's some actually really good stuff in here, so let's get right into it. So they start off saying, Dear Wanderers, Two weeks have passed since we met for the first time in Tower Fantasy's closed beta test. How was your journey through Ida? Wait, how has your journey through Ida been? Have you been enjoying the beauty of the Tower of Fantasy? <laughs> of the Tower? Ah, okay. Found a weapon you like or making new friends, perhaps? Yes to all. <laughs> the past two weeks went by in the flash for us, yet at the same time it felt long. As our first regional beta test for the global version, it has definitely been a challenge for us. We've been paying close attention to your in-game experiences and reading through every single piece of feedback you provided us positive or negative, we're very grateful for them all. Your feedback is very valuable to us as it'll help us reflect on the aspects of the game which require improvements and allow us to provide an even better game to you in the upcoming beta tests or official launch. We'd like to use this opportunity to answer our most frequently asked questions and we hope it'll give you a better understanding of our plans and thoughts. And the questions and answers are as follow. So question, I'm playing on PC, myself included, and I like playing with a controller. <laughs> I do as well too. My experience hasn't been ideal on PC and I hope controller support can be improved. So that's the question. I'll add my personal, it's like answer first. So I've been playing Tower Fantasy with both controller and mouse and keyboard and to me it's fine on both so that's my it's like that's my answer for that i haven't had you know a non-ideal experience the only thing is i wish they you can map buttons out on the controller and since like i said i read some of this i think this answer you know covers that so their answer is the controller supports are being optimized and the following will be ready upon the official launch i was like as soon as i read that i'm like that is wonderful improvements to button configuration to be more in line with common configurations favored by controller fans improvements to controller com compatibility with the function menu added the function to customize the button configuration for the controller we will continue to make improvements based on the feedback we receive in the future so again wonderful Next question, I'm playing on an iPhone, I tap the wrong button from time to time, and I can't set a custom configuration. It, it's quite inconvenient. Their answer is, tap on settings, others to modify button layout or opacity and distance from your screen's borders. Please give it a try. We're also evaluating the feasibility of modifying button size and other function buttons. So. I don't really have much input on that since I play on PC, but it sounds like that they are working on this specific problem, which again is a good thing. Next, this one, it was a little, I was like, hmm. So combat, the question is combat isn't as fast paced as I'd like it to be. The impact and special effects in battle aren't striking enough and some weapon movements are a little awkward. So their answer is, we're constantly exploring and improving our weapon designs. All existing weapons in the game will be improved. Some already, some are already being completed and you'll see just how much we've grown from the new and upcoming weapons that will be added to the game. Additionally, we would love to hear specific and detailed suggestions. For example, suggestions to improve certain aspects of a weapon. We'll evaluate all your feedback and take it into consideration. So, about the combat, as far as my experience, 
I do love the combat. I love its, you know, its pace, you know, its speed, uh, how you can do, you know, the combos, air combos, this, that. I do love all of that. Now, if I was thinking about as fast paced, so honestly, if they can make the combat as close to, let's see, <laughs> there we go. If Tower Fantasy, they make the combat as close to like Bayonetta or Nier Automata, that would be glorious. <laughs> I'm not saying they absolutely have to, but if they can get that kind of speed of combat, like in an MMO, that, that would be perfect. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, it's like, oh, Blade and Soul has that kind of, it's like, true, it does, but it doesn't in a way. I've played Blade and Soul as well. And as far as like special effects and things like that, now that I kind of agree with, that would be a little more, you know, flash and, you know, and elegance would be really cool. It's like, so they said they're working on things like that and with new weapons. I wonder what those are going to be. Next question. The user interface UI isn't user friendly and some areas lack information. It would be nice if the completed exploration points were marked along with the detailed gathering locations info tips agreed <laughs> so their answer is it's our agenda we will be continuously improving the ui's ease of use and aesthetics these changes will be ready for the official launch of course we're happy to receive specific and detailed suggestions to help us do better Besides that, we believe that mastering and planning exploration routes are the key element to enjoying and experiencing the challenge of an open world game. So we don't intend to add tips or marks for the exploration and gathering points to the map for now, for now. However, we will continue to pay attention to the feedback about this. We recommend using the existing pin function to mark the relevant locations. Okay. It's like that, you know, it's like, I think that was a pretty good answer. It's like, they're like, we have a pin function. You can use that to mark locations. So there is a tool already present that can be used to solve this issue. But again, it's like, I do think that the UI itself does need a little work, but again, this is a bait. The men next question. The menu is too long and complicated. I can't find anything especially the mailbox it's too well hidden in the menu admittingly this happened to me kinda so i do wish the menu or again at least the ui was a little more simplified or just they could i guess make it easier to get to certain things or combine things together their answer is it's one of the main aspects we're improving Firstly, we'll be adding a mail notification icon in the main interface for convenient access to the mailbox. Nice. As for the menu, we're in the process of simplifying it. It will be ready in future versions. All right. Uh, let's see. Next is, I feel the game lacks sufficient guidance and tutorials. Hmm. For example, the mechanics of triggering Fantasia. I hope it'll be improved since it is an essential system, which is pretty vague right now. For example, by adding a mission like, please trigger Fantasia three times. Okay, that's reasonable. As noted above, there's room for improvement in the game's tutorials. We'll be adding more comprehensive tutorial stages in future versions, including tutorials for Fantasia, shield breaking, relics and even weapon combinations there will also be completion rewards nice please keep an eye out for the next beta test and official launch of tower of fantasy and then i guess the closing for the letter they go on to say due to space due, yeah, due to space constraints we've selected the most popular questions to answer today Thank you for all your feedback or the feedback you've given us. It's a wide space. It's thanks to your feedback we found out so many players are fond of character creation and we got to enjoy so many cool and interesting pictures and fan art. The videos and group photos of you fighting bosses and clearing instances together truly moved us and gladdened our hearts. Of course, we received reports about server instability 
localiz localization errors, system bugs, etc. We will continuously polish the game to give you a better experience and will actively search for solutions to ceaselessly improve the game as well. Thanks again for your support and feedback. We hope you'll continue. We will hope we hope you'll continue enjoying your life in Tower of Fantasy and keep your eyes on the next beta test and official launch of the game. Please feel free to contact our customer service right here and our official social media accounts to give us your feedback. Sincerely, Tower of Fantasy team with love. So I think, yeah, that's it. So I think that was really nice of them to put this out. And they did answer a lot of the questions that I was hoping they would do as well, too. Well, I know that they're working on certain aspects of the game. Again, my schedule has been a little hectic this week. But I do plan on making another um, closed beta video soon that I'll announce, you know, beforehand when I'm going to be doing it for anyone who's interested. But this was just a quick video that I wanted to put together since I thought this was a really good, well put together letter of, of um, questions and answers as well, too. Anyone who's interested in Tower of Fantasy, again, they said, like I said, check out their Twitter, other social medias, YouTube, you know, this, that. Lots of people are streaming it besides myself. And it's a really fun game. And I can't wait until it actually fully launches. But that'll be all for this. Until next time, I'll talk to you later, everyone. Ashinova out.